just like it's not something I can just like or a spider, you know, they just can't they don't run. Well, the spiders mostly really do freak up. As soon as I lift this thing and start to put it under, there's a hole for him to get out. I know. I don't know what to do. Um and I can't get this under him. You know, I can't sweep him like a spider where like break his leg. I kind of We don't want to do that. That bad. Yeah. So what about thinking, the purple gloves just in case you need to pick them up? I'm trying to think of like like I don't care about that part. I'm just like trying to I'm mean, that's whatever. I'm trying to think of like how do I do this? I really just so don't. Here's a, this is why I kind of wanted like almost maybe the haunted mansion one, just because it's a little skinnier than even this. What about this folder? <gasps> Our poster board. Or like a yeah. Really skinny See if we have poster board because it's just firm enough. If it's big enough that we could keep it, but it's thin enough that we could go slow. I think it'll be okay because it's so big that you can keep it firm. It's just such a wide area. slide this under one side and put it back down and then slide it all the way under, you know, slowly, mm -hmm. basically. Alright guys, so, so our exterminator just came. Just came. Just came, so we're pretty sure that the mouse, we haven't had a mouse in the house except for when we very first moved in. And it came in with all the moving boxes. And we've looked, there's no mouse poop anywhere, so we think, we think, it just got into the poison that's outside in the boxes. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta get up on this chair. All right. Anyway, it's a tiny, tiny field he mouse. <gasps> oh no! He's trying to get away. You're not hurting him. He's just scared. You can use, push push the, the 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 whole thing against the door. Then you have some friction instead of moving him. Oh, well, you know what? He's gonna. He might walk onto the white paper himself. The white paper. Yeah, don't let it form a hole. Maybe we walk away and see if, if you come on the other side, he'll walk to the side with the paper. Like if he see here. Okay, Kyle, keep it. Oh my gosh. See if he's, I thought me, oh, there, see he saw me. Oh, don't get his little tail smushed. Now you can always put the big cardboard thing under him. He's so little. They're so tiny. Hey mouse, this is why we have snakes. Keep it firm, Kyle. I know that's what you're doing. Do you want to try to move the poster well, board back okay. out? He's just freaking out. I'm not worried about him now. I'm just trying to get a good grip on the whole thing. You're doing great, honey. I'm... Oh my gosh, wait, let me get him. Let me get him. Oh, he does Definitely. have a hurt leg. Totally. Oh, he has a totally broken leg. Oh my gosh, what if Jack did get him? Oh. Jack is a mouser. He's a mouser. That type of dog. But Jack just never gets anything. He's so docile, isn't he, Kyle? He once caught a bird and purposely didn't hurt it, didn't he, Kyle? He just showed us. Oh, poor little mouse. You just can't be in our house, buddy. How'd he get in the house? It's because those kids left that door open. This is a lot of <gasps> he probably got in the house last night when you left the door open outside for an hour. Oh, maybe so. Uh, that's how he got in. I know that's how he got in. It, we don't so. have him in the garage. That's exactly what he did. Kyle, last night, took Jack Potty and decided to go lay back down in bed and fell asleep for over an hour till I woke up and was like, oh my God, the back door's wide open and I closed it. I don't understand why Tom had all that trouble all those years. <laughs> what? Tom, wait. What? Catch Tom and Jerry? Oh, uh, okay. That's a mouse that's easy. Look. Oh, he's so sad. And tired. He's and like he's pooped. He pooped? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> mouse poop. Mouse your nerves. Mice poop constantly, so if you have a mouse, there will be mouse poop. Because we just had the exterminator here. So now we know it's not poison. It's a broken leg. Walked in my office door. And I was freaking out because Jack was just sleeping in my office and I didn't want Jack to get it. 
So I kept calling Kyle's phone and he was asleep and he wouldn't answer his phone. And I was like, what if there's a real emergency? You didn't answer your phone. He's laughing at me. What a jerk. <laughs> I want to see this. <laughs> By the way, guys, it's like 1230 in the morning. Wait, Kyle, I'm coming. <laughs> Our neighbors are going to be like, they're going to all look at their ring doorbells and be like, what the heck are they doing? <laughs> See y'all, we live by a big field and a new development. So as I'm sure you can imagine, there are mice and snakes. Oh goodness. He's just scared. Um, I just heard something over here that sounded not as small as a mouse, so let's go. <sighs> Seriously, probably was a snake. Like, I'm not kidding. Okay. Go, throw away that, throw away that paper or cardboard. Ew, throw it all away. <laughs> but he pooped on it, yuck. Thanks, Kyle. I don't know if mice are like more common in certain areas. Like obviously we have a lot of mice here, but like you never really get them in your house. At least we don't. So I don't have a lot of experience with this. He didn't poop on my floor. So Kyle wouldn't answer his phone. Uh, Do you want to see the text messages I sent you? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, this it is was, what I set the vibrator in my Shush up. Right, Kyle, if there was a real emergency. Don't use your phone to come get me. Come run and get me. This is what I sent. <laughs> Look, come here. It's not done. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Ready? Ready? First stuff, I just like that this was your, like, you didn't even say eat. Or, look, or, look, look. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then that was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Because it was. Was it? Were yeah. you maybe cry laughing at that point? <laughs> that was an accident because Ew. it was in my recent emotion. <laughs> Like, let's see how many oh, times man. I called you. How can I see outgoing calls? <laughs> I called you I, so many times. I, I felt it at least once before you called, you know, but I just kind of like, your brain had to... <laughs> we, we panic moved all this stuff in my office, and then I got to clean that it up. The, uh, that's the, that's the thumbnail right there. What? Your text. My text. <laughs> You jerk. I was so mad at you for not answering. I couldn't get up because I was so scared Jack was going to try to eat that poor mouse. Good morning, guys. So I know I look like a hot mess. I did not wash all my mascara off last night and I'm working out. But I woke up this morning and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I was like, I just, I don't know. I was having a talk with one of my friends at baseball. Let me just pause. Okay. Last night, I have a really good friend from baseball our sons have been on the same team for over a year now for a year now I guess anyway um we were talking last night about how like mentally so many people are suffering right now because um in the whole world you know we've got all this weird virus stuff and it's whatever and then the U.S. we're dealing with all that and we're dealing with just a really poor political environment, for lack of a better word, of whatever. <laughs> you all know Kyle and I don't always get political, but it's my channel and I can't if I want. So <laughs> obviously our current political climate is not good and it stresses us out. Kyle and I it stresses us out. We were having this conversation about how in the past, if there was a president that maybe wasn't our first choice or that we didn't like, that was it. We maybe just disagreed with some of it or we whatever. We still respected them as the president. We still would, you know, hear what they were saying. No, 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 no. Okay. And the bottom line is we were never worried for the safety of our country in like a sincere way. Now you might have like the melodramatic people who no matter what president they're gonna, on either side, far side of either left or right, are gonna always act like whoever's in charge is gonna kill us all. But this is the first time that I can ever remember where like I'm legit scared of that. And so is Kyle. <laughs> and it's just, it's just hard. It's hard being here and, and like seeing the world 
look at us and, and like just questioning, why are, why did you guys get in this situation? And it's from fear, people who fear. A lot of uh, the, they're running a fear like campaign. They scare people. A lot of people who are scared of meaningful change. So things like the protests and things like that, it scares them. And the thing is, is every time there's a big change, it's scary, it's chaotic, but that's how you have a big change. All you have to do is go back in history and look at that. I would rather live in a country like America where it is messy and loud and chaotic, but it's because we're trying to do something to be better. And I am proud of that. But a lot of people, that scares them because they just want things to just stay the same. So it's just, it has been, it's so funny because like I'm just finding myself very stressed about it in a way that I've never been before. Um, it's just whatever. So that's been happening. <laughs> so we were, anyway, my friend and I were talking about uh, just the, the political, like everything, right? And like how it's, we weren't talking about like specifics, but we were just talking about how everybody's just struggling right now. And this morning I woke up and I was like, I just want to be like, I always tell my mom, I always tell my mom that I'm like, look, I don't really care. Like, I just want to be like a better person in terms of how I think and approach things. Like, I can't stand hypocrites. I can't stand it when you have people who will, I just feel like there's a lot of like back and forth, but both sides like aren't listening to the other side. And I don't want to be that person. I want to be the person who's trying to listen to both. And I feel like that makes, when I form an opinion, it's going to make it a stronger opinion. If I'm, and you can't just say you're listening. <laughs> You have to actually do it. I see a lot of people who are like, oh, I do listen and they sit there, but really they're just waiting for you to be quiet so that they can talk and continue on their point. They didn't really listen to you. I just, I can't stand that. Oh my gosh, I look like I had a rough night. But anyway, I just woke up today and I was like, oh, I was like, I'm just, I'm out of sorts. I put back on weight that I worked really hard to lose last year. Last year. I was like, I know I'm not at the like, like I'm just not healthy. I'm not being healthy and not just like physically, like obviously, you know, that's not just physically, but like mentally, emotionally, everything's just a little rocky right now. And it's hard on the kids too. It's hard on not like just my kids, every child out there. This is hard. Both Sophie and Grayson, I mean, uh, Audrey and Grayson just they miss school like Sophie she's doing okay but it's because her best friend actually moved so like she's kind of okay being online because it lets her still like be in class with her best friend but um Audrey and Grayson I thought they were doing like I thought they were super happy with this they miss that environment so much both of them have told me I just I wish I was I wish we could go back to real school you know and it breaks my heart like my kids like school. I mean, I know not all kids do, but my kids really like it. Um, we just, and we, uh, we're at such a good school. The school that my kids go to is just so supportive and positive and encouraging. And like, it's just a really good place. And I, I want the kids to be back there. So they're struggling too. I just realized this morning, I was like, I have got to be all this stuff that's like weighing on me. Like it should, like that is okay that it's weighing on me. It's okay that it's weighing on you. It's okay that we're all in a funk because there's a lot of crap going on out there. <laughs> so, but, um, I, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna just solve everything and like be hundred percent happy and lose 40 pounds and be emotionally like completely stable overnight. I get that. I get it. I'm going to go two steps forward, one step back. Sometimes I'm going to go one step forward and three steps back. It's just part of the process, but I've got, I've got to try. I just feel out of sorts. So anyway, this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, that's it, Courtney. Just try. So that's what I'm doing. And that's that. So I'm just going to try. Like I said, I'm not trying is better than not trying. And some days you don't feel like trying. So it's like I said last week in one of the other vlogs, the days where you have that burst of like energy or mental clarity or determination, 
really jump on it because it'll help with the days where you are struggling, you know? So that was a long talk about that. But right as I was starting, I was like, no, I want to stop and, and share these thoughts. Uh, just, just like my friend and I were talking last night. It's just, there's just a lot going on and it's with everyone. And the more like divisive and crazy and, you know, dividing that like we are as my nation, but also everywhere. Um, it's, it's just, it's not a good thing. It's a really rocky time, but there are ways to kind of get through it, you know? There are ways to like, you know, keep moving forward and to try, you know? You'd rather be someone who tries than someone who just gives up. At least I would. And I'm pretty sure everyone out there would too. And sometimes the trying is really hard, <laughs> but it's worth it, you know? That is what I'm doing. And I'm hoping that like, if I can get myself you know, back into like some sort of casual workout routine because that's really good for your endorphins to sound all legally blonde right there. <laughs> um, but it is. <laughs> I'm also like trying to be really like diligent about my vitamins. I do those persona vitamins and holy smokes, like, oh, y'all, I just got a tropical depression 22 in the Gulf update. We'll have to see what that's all about. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna actually do my workout now and or finish it. I'd only done like a couple minutes and I was like, no, I wanna say what, what I'm thinking. But that was really long. And then, yeah, so we'll go about our day and I'm really happy it's Friday. Like I'm super stoked. <laughs> we just got this weather alert from our uh, county and they said that although right now it's it's very dynamic and likely to change at the very least, it's probably going to be a heavy rainmaker, so you should be aware. Honestly, I feel like Houston, we've done really well um, in terms of not getting, you know, a, a lot of the bad stuff that's happened. Weather-wise, like, normally in August we get a lot more. Uh, <laughs> you guys see I'm still doing that organizing my makeup for Um Normally we get a lot Oh, okay. She said she's she's doing her school. I was having her practice letters. She said, be quiet, mom. I'm doing my school with my baby. Um, <laughs> she said, I'm going to do the water a little cooler so that I can uh, give Elizabeth a shower too. We just, like, normally in August, we also get a lot more, like, uh, tornado possible storms. And, and it's September now, obviously, but I'm just saying, like, we did it. We did not, if you go back and look at our channel, historically, like in August, we do a lot worse a lot of the time. So whatever, whatever, we're doing a little better. So that's good. So I only worked out for 23 minutes, but it's a hit machine. So I like was trying to do my, like, look at my flabby arms. I was trying to do those too. Cause it's, like I said, it's hit machine. So like you can work out a lot. Um, so you know what? <laughs> I'm really out of shape. I'm really overweight. And so I'm good with that. I'm cool with that. Uh, I need to wash my face and like get all this off and get finished so that I can be there to do the kids lunch and do all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So me being the best mother ever today made mummy dogs for the kids. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's, they, they love them. When I told them I was making mummy dogs, this is the first time since last fall that I've made them. So they're pretty stoked. So I know I look tired, but I actually feel fine. My hair is um, like this because my little one who's laying down on my, her head's in my lap right now. She was doing my hair and so was Audrey. Well, I don't know. I must've missed Tropical Storm Alpha because I just got an alert that Tropical Storm Beta had formed in the Gulf and that they were putting out warnings for Southeast Texas, which is where I'm at in Houston. So I was like, wait, Beta? What? We're already in the Greek alphabet and we, I missed one? <laughs> okay, so I saw this like recipe select suggestion on my Alexa and it was for this like Tex-Mex 
pasta dish. And it looked delicious. So I was like, oh, I want to make that. So you can like get the recipe and you can save it to your favorites. And it was from uh, Tasty, that Tasty channel or whatever. So then I went and looked it up when I was trying to meal plan. And I saw that if you use the Tasty app, they said that they can like put all the ingredients and add it to your Walmart shopping grocery list pickup. And I was like, that's really awesome. And they even do it where, look, did you look under your bed? Go look under your bed. They even did it, uh, like they'll even like have like, they'll, they'll have the list imported and then they'll have a section that says pantry items. And it's basically items they assume you probably already have. So they didn't automatically put them on the list. But if you don't have it, you can add it back to the list. Things like pepper, like most people already have pepper. I was like, that's so intuitive. Anyway, but so because of that, it made me like have this idea. I was like, you know what I should do would be a fun video is everybody knows those tasty videos because like they pop up everywhere. I was like, I should do like a whole week of dinners that I get from them. So that's like what I'm trying to do <laughs> because I thought that would be fun um, to see if they like all work. Because sometimes I like wonder, some of them look like they work really well and some of them like... I don't know. I'm not sure about. So anyway, uh, I thought that was cool. So I'm going to try it at Walmart for grocery pickup. I've done it one other time and it was fine, but they were out of a lot. That's kind of when they were new at it. So I'm thinking maybe they got like a little bit better about keeping track of their stock. Elizabeth wanted us to go and look at the pink sky. Sophie and Kyle went to get dinner because it's our Friday Pizza. It's our pizza movie night, except we're kind of tired. We do pizza, so we're getting a burger place instead. Oh, it is beautiful, Elizabeth. So pretty. Look, it's coming in on our fireplace. Isn't that pretty?